Yes, everybody, welcome back to another episode of the United Twins with myself, CM, and my twin bro, Cappy, on the other line. Today, we'll be speaking about some MEFC World Cup updates, a transfer blow, and Manchester United potentially searching for a new shirt sponsor. Blessings to everybody inside, including yourself, Cappy. We'll get started with the quarterfinals of the World Cup. Commiserations to Casemiro, Fred and Anthony, the whole of the Brazil squad who went out on penalties against Croatia. With all of the expectations and people thinking this could be their year, it just wasn't to be. It ended in tears once again. Next game was Argentina versus Netherlands when the Argentinian team went through on penalties as well. A fiery match that ended in true drama. Congratulations to Lissandro Martinez. Even though he has another massive role in this team, mostly coming off the bench, good luck in the final. And commiserations to Terrell Malassia. He didn't touch the pitch, I believe. Let me know if I'm wrong, but I'm sure he will in the future. Next game, Portugal also went home after a remarkable 1 0 loss to Morocco. A Ronaldo S leap from in the city before half time with some all time effort secured this historic victory. Congratulations to them. First African side to make the semi-finals of a World Cup. Commiserations to Bruno Fernandes and Diogo Dolo, who departed from the tournament after the game. Final game we'll speak about for the quarterfinals was France versus England. And they squeezed past England in the end, this French side who once again couldn't get it done. Commiserations to Harry Maguire, Luke Shaw and Marcus Rashford. Harry Kane, obviously, that penalty, the second penalty. He scored his first in the game, but the second one blasted over the bar. They just couldn't get over the hump once again this England side. And I'm sure there still is a little bit of disappointment, a large bit of disappointment, to be fair, amongst the fans and, and everybody involved. Now, over to the semi-final, where Argentina comprehensively beat Croatia 3-0 and it wasn't really close from start to finish CM. Brilliance from Messi who scored and assisted on one of the two Julian Alvarez goals. He also has been in brilliant form during this World Cup for Argentina because I believe Latalo Martinez was starting down the middle first but he just wasn't able to pick it up and find form and since Julian Alvarez has come in he's had impacts off the bench as well. He's just been absolutely brilliant. France advanced to their second successive World Cup final after a 2-0 win against Morocco who just didn't have enough to cause real threat in the final third unfortunately. Congrats to Rafael Varane for having a chance to go back to back in the World Cup. That is a very very rare achievement if it does happen. Third place playoff will be between Croatia and Morocco and of course the final will be France versus Argentina which is happening on Sunday I believe third place playoff on Saturday. Will the prophecy be completed or will history already find a way to be rewritten? We shall find out but either way good luck to Lissandra Martinez and Rafael Varane going into Sunday. Manchester United are looking for a new shirt sponsor after bringing an end to their 235 million partnership with Team Viewer. The German technology company has come under huge pressure from investors to scrap their five year contract with United after being accused of appalling judgment and hubris. Months of talks have now led to United and Team Viewer agreeing to halt the partnership prematurely in an embarrassing turn of events for both parties. Team Viewer will remain as the United shirt sponsor until the club find a new partner, after which they will continue as a global partner until the end of their contract in 2026. Despite the uncertainty over future ownership of the club, sources at United said they were relaxed over the matter and that nothing would change until a new shirt partner is secured. Manchester United have reduced the capacity of Old Trafford by 12,000 for next Wednesday's Karabubu Cup tie against a Burnley due to an ambulance strike taking place on the same day. United said that operating at full capacity was not an option for several reasons including the unavailability of other key public services and matchday staff over the Christmas period. 
the club confirmed West Stand Tier 2 and North Stand Tier 3 will be closed, leaving the tie with a 62,000 capacity instead. They will contact those affected and offer refunds. So be sure to check your emails, text messages, and just, just to be safe because you don't want to bump up to OT and next thing you know, you've got a security guard telling you, yeah, nah, come in. Cause I, I, me personally, I'd be heated. I, I'm not taking that. I'm, I'm going inside, bro. No, I'm, just, I'm playing, but be sure to check your emails, text messages, all of that good stuff. Some good and bad news regarding Diogo Delo. So let's get the bad out of the way. He made a swift return to Manchester United's Carrington training complex after sustaining an injury at the World Cup. He was forced off with an apparent hamstring injury in Portugal's loss to Morocco and he's due to be assessed by United's medical staff today, being Friday as part of his recovery. Good news is that United are due to trigger that one-year extension in Delo's contract to tie him down to the club until 2024 with the Portuguese expected to be offered an improved deal very soon, probably in the summertime, I'm thinking. So what do you guys think of that? Hopefully the injury isn't too severe because he's really our only option at right back unless you call up one of the youngsters. Uh, and could this possibly force United to go into the January transfer window thinking that right back spot is a priority? Yes. Manchester United have been dealt a blow in their pursuit of Atletico Madrid forward João Felix, according to the Marcio, due to the fact that he would prefer a move to Paris Saint-Germain. The Portugal international could be on the move in January after Atletico's chief executive CM admitted that the club are willing to listen to offers for a player who cost them 113 million in 2019. Big investment saying. Champions League football could be a factor in that decision making, with finances also. You have to remember Atletico, despite the situation both parties are in, still value him highly and see him as one of the best talents in world football. So, a deal will probably be quite complicated. But I don't know, what do you guys think in the comment section below? Let us know, would you like Xiao Felix to be a Manchester United player? And that will probably happen in January, not January, sorry, the, the summer. I'm even a little mad there. It'll probably happen in the summer. So let us know in the comment section below. But that has come to the end of this episode of the news that we've been reporting. If you've seen anything over the last few days or the last couple of weeks, let us know. We can chop it up in the comments. But thank you for the support over the course of these United Twins episodes. As always, we're coming to the end of the World Cup. Hey, man, I'm, I'm getting a little sad because this has been a good tournament, to be fair. Yeah. But be sure to hit a like on the what video if you've enjoyed i'm a little rusty man subscribe if you're new share it to your friends and frenemies and until the next time we'll see you a lot sooner